arriving at Sunder, the science planet. Beautiful, very high tech. Makes sense for a science planet. <laughs> of course, I assume Boots has never been there. Alrighty, there we are, nice, exit this way, really is nice, Bit. I feel like cities that is. Alright fellas, I did the send net search for Dr. Rogue Bowman and I found out some stuff. Boots, you remember when I went on that self-help kick after reading a book called Mistake Awakes just a few months before I died? Well, the person we're looking for wrote it. I can't find a listing in the Colossum Scientist Directory. The only reference I could find was in a six-month-old shipping log which shows laboratory equipment for an R. Bowman shipped to a building called the Rainbow Sanctuary. All searches for Rainbow Sanctuary come up blank. I'm afraid you're on your own, boys. Well, that's um, interesting, to say the least. So she's somewhere in the Rainbow Sanctuary, which apparently is uh, non-searchable. So this is the uh, Sunder Spaceport. We'll go to the exit first and then we'll have a look around. Nice. Oh, we can save here. Let's do that. Martin. Movies are too long these days. I usually prefer the shorter edited in-flight version over the original director's cut. You know what else I hate? Those aren't we clever movies with obscure self-referential humor no one except the writer gets. Those drive me up the wall. You know what else I hate? Strangers assaulting me at the starport. Beat it before I call security. I'm not assaulting anyone. I'm just uh, politely inquiring about your likes and dislikes apparently so the exit is this way ah such a calming environment Boop. hello the rainbow sanctuary that's where all the heretics are sequestered isn't it yeah you've got to get past that security checkpoint over there to find it so we've learned something already and I assume she meant this security checkpoint right halt do you have class C security clearance 
Beyond this gate is the Rainbow Sanctuary. It's restricted. Heretics only. Can you lower the lasers for me? I'm new here and I want to explore. I'm sure he doesn't mind. I'm afraid I couldn't lower the lasers even if I wanted to. The disabling frequencies are known by only three guards and each one only knows one frequency each. <laughs> what if I cleverly distract you and lower them while you're not looking? I guess in theory it would be possible to interrupt the flow of the lasers without a clearance keycard. How? Well, there are three types of lasers running in high modulation behind me. If someone found a control panel for each one and managed to get the disabling frequencies from the three guards, then they could switch the lasers to low modulation. And that would lower the gate? Well, once the lasers are switched to low modulation, you still have to block the flow with something. With what? Well, I suppose you could block the lasers with anything thin enough to fit in the laser unit card slot. In the control panel. <laughs> control panel? Have you been listening to anything I've been telling you? Like I said, if someone found the control panels for each type of laser and find out the secret frequency for them, they could switch the lasers to low modulations and block them with something thin enough to fit in the laser unit card slot. In theory, of course. Purely theoretical, uh, good sir. Right. Yep. Boy, that was odd. I just bumped into the strangest looking guy as I was leaving the bathroom. He couldn't have been a scientist. He was wearing red and black body armor. His face was evil. Mm. He didn't say anything, he just stared at me, then strode off. I got chills. Hell, I'm getting chills now. Look at my arm. The more moments that pass, the more it seems like I imagined him. That was truly bizarre. Should I report this to someone? Yeah, maybe to the security guard. I'm sure it is. Sunder is divided into different fields of research, almost like a, an academic caste system. The scientific association perpetuates the system by bestowing bigger grants to astrophysicists and offering them cheaper housing rates over less prestigious fields like, say, botany. Remember when they discovered the cure to the Braxillus virus? The key to the vaccine was discovered on a lonely stretch of scrub land on Talion II by a botanist, classifying plants. Not some astrophysicist with her head in the clouds. And if your ideas run contrary to popular beliefs, you're branded a heretic and stripped of all prestige. It's awful how they raked Ro Bowman over the coals. I didn't even think her ideas were really all that radical. Mark my words, I'm going to put this place through some changes. Or you're going to be kicked off into the Rainbow Sanctuary. Seems more likely to me. But uh, yeah, so she's considered a heretic because of her be differing beliefs on uh, mistech, basically. Right, let's talk. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't just stand there, go find Dr. McLaurin. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Right, what do you want? Nothing, I guess. Are you his assistant or something? Don't get in the way of science. I won't. You. I'm assuming my luggage is going to come out of here at some point. Everyone else got their luggage. Where's mine? It's probably on Cordica. If it hasn't come out by now, it probably is, dude. Or maybe somewhere else entirely. My flight's been delayed for two hours. Are you responsible? Uh, why would I be? No. <laughs> uh, a man of culture. <laughs> uh huh. Some other time, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Um, yeah, of course. Go, go talk to her. Do it, dude. I'm assuming you mean that girl. Oh, I guess that didn't go <laughs> go so well. <laughs> What's how weird? Some guy just asked me the time. When I told him I didn't know, he said, "You're all the same," and ran off. Uh. <laughs> dude. Is that you? <laughs> He's not very good with women, is he? Don't worry about it, he might come back. <laughs> Let's go to the lounge. Just having a look. Ah. This is uh, quite a view. Wow, scary. When I was a child, I thought the reason you couldn't breathe in space be was because of bad air. Can you believe that? Not no air, but bad air. I was such a stupid little kid. Thinking back on how stupid I was, I can't believe I managed to survive into adulthood. I guess you had good parents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good advice. Hey there, uh, romantic couple. <laughs> Uh-huh, I know I am. It's just too fun. What's this? Can't believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. I was scheduled to document a rare conjunction of moons around Barnard 3. It only occurs every 137 years. Since the Barneys don't keep very accurate astronomical records, it was up to me to record the rare event. If only my flight hadn't have been moved two hours. Now I might miss the conjunction. Man, I can't believe it. Yep. Maybe you should have booked an earlier flight just to make sure you didn't miss it. Hello there. Salutations. This is perhaps the last drink I will ever serve. Why? That's ominous, isn't it? I wonder what that meant. You mean to tell me they don't serve mojitos here? And they call this a civilized joint? I know, right? It's a... It's a disgrace. A bar that doesn't serve mojitos. I wouldn't stay there. You there, robot. Welcome to the Starport line. Long. Would you care for some complimentary playing cards? Sure, why not? We need something thin to slide into the laser card slots. Also, there's a PAX card. With a briefcase. So, I told her to hand me a canister beside the Tolzewski emitter. The goggles work better when the subject is exposed to certain types of radiation. What color were her scanties? Did the goggles work? That's the thing, my voluminous friend. She wasn't wearing any whatsoever. I nearly spilled my beaker. Oh, casual sexual assault on the work floor. <laughs> Excuse me, but what's the frequency? For the security lasers, listen buddy, I got a morning ritual. I drink a Bellini, conversate with the locals and munch a croissant before I open my briefcase and read my daily briefing. So get your face out of my routine before I club your brain pan. Now tell me, are they as nice as I imagine? Is he distracted enough for me to take the lock on this briefcase? I hope so.
Right. Laser frequency 493. For official use only. I believe that gentleman is tampering with your briefcase. Hey, keep your mitts with my stuff. I didn't do anything. I'm a scientist. So. I have one of the frequencies. Got the playing cards. And I can disable the blue laser now. That was useful. I'm assuming these are the frequency things. Is this for the blue one or are they all like that? I'll check later. I will return within two cycles, my son. Focus on your work while I am absent. Father, I am experiencing feelings of sorrow. Pay them no heed, my son. They will only interfere with your work. <laughs> Father, what if the experiment fails because you're not here? The experiment will not fail because I am not here, my son. The experiment will fail if you make a careless mistake. True, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my father. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh. Through family drama. Oh really? Oh, you might be. Yes. You forgot your joke. Maybe you can just make something up, you still have an hour. Like, it won't be great, I guess. <laughs> I've been fascinated by arachnids ever since I got bitten by a spider when I was a freshman at the International Institute of Technology. <laughs> Professor Maguire. <laughs> of course. Did you know that a normal person swallows an average of eight spiders during the course of their life while they are asleep? That's not true. I didn't mean to gross you out. Spider-Man? You know the scientists all kind of look alike? Yeah, I know. You there. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, it's you again. <laughs> True, I guess. No, 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 I'm not. That's the little kid who ran away. <laughs> okay. Another romantic moment, perhaps? Sorry. Yeah, this is red, so this is the one for the red laser. Ha! I see a pack guard. Hello. I'm taking anger management courses. I'm supposed to tense my muscles and breathe in. Breathe! The anger is draining out of me. The anger is draining out of me. I'm going to leave the anger behind me. I'm going to step out of my... <laughs> it took my money. Shh. I'm okay. Really. I'm very centered. Yeah. Give me the laser frequency and I'll get that paper for you. Uh-huh. Indeed. Yeah. Can't do anything with it. Worthless. Uh-huh. You'd have to catch me first, but yeah. Uh, it's a pearl. Thanks, little robot man, that's well. Now I can line the bottom of my bipedry cage with fresh paper. Awesome, got another one. 
Only one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what an opportunity. No one's come to pick me up. I was expecting to see someone holding a sign with my name on it. Maybe I should call someone. But maybe I should stay here. Maybe you should call someone. Gate 7 and 8. Gates 9 to 12 are through here. Oh. That looks really awesome. I wonder what that is, though. Uh. Yes, I did. So that's the exit, eh? Does that work? It goes around this way, not that way. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so I went around the other way. Sorry. This makes more sense. Trash can. Uh, ooh, what's this? I can't talk to that. 9 and 10 Here's a briefcase Unusable That might be his We don't have a card key for this lock Gate 12 eh? Oh, this one here too Gate 11 What's uh going on here? <laughs> oh dear. So he's stuck in a force field. That's uh... You probably want to fix that. Can't you see him in the middle of something? I've had a grueling day and I don't have time to talk to morons. Take a hike. I feel this is work for Grumpos. Because if anybody can out gruel his day, it's going to be this little dude, isn't it? Good lord. What is he even talking about? The timber fields. <laughs> Good luck with the hernia. Okay, thanks. We've got all the frequencies now. So we can open the gate and go meet up with Dr. Ro Bowman. And someone got stuck. Out of my way. Right. 
let's first check this is the green one which is 691 Yeah, let's see if one of these playing cards will work. It does. I wonder what that is for, though. Oh, that's Professor is stuck. Go away. Just uh, that just gave us the same information that security guard at the gate gave us. I prefer the security guard's information. It's funnier. The red frequency is five oh seven. Another one of these playing cards and Grumpo's gained a level. Awesome. And then the last one, the blue one, 493. Okay. Uh, what did I say? 493. And a playing card. Perfect. All right, security lasers are now down. So we can finally go find the doctor. Let's uh, do a quick save before we set off. I wonder if we need to uh, get that security guard away first, or if we can just walk through. Oh, we could just walk through. Yay! This place is fun. And pretty. So peaceful. Oh no, we have to walk. Look at this dude floating. Hello. Happy accidents are often the mother of invention. Case in point, I was toying with the gravimetric flux of inanimate objects when I inadvertently found a way to reverse the polarity of my boots. Now I've got myself some dandy anti-gravity footwear. Pretty neat, eh? I bet you wish you had a pair. Well, gotta go, and it's up, up, and away. Alright. Oof. Ow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Better luck next time. You there. I like to take my lunch break out here, but some heretic from the Rainbow Sanctuary invariably wanders over here and spoils my peace. I guess all those shuttles taking off spoil the peace too. Can you get out of my son? Right, sorry. My god. One of those people, are you? It's super peaceful here, though. I'd come to have my lunch. Off we go to the Rainbow Sanctuary. Oh, 
Oh, it's got an actual rainbow painted on the outside and everything. It's beautiful. Right, what have we here? What have we there? I saw that. What is it? I have no idea. It's, uh, this one. Enemies hit points show through during battle. Um, not a must, but handy enough. Pretty nice lab coats for the discriminating scientists. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Still not sure what you can do with these. Okay, so let's give that to Boots. Seems handy enough. Until we get better gear, might as well. To let us know how long we're in for when we start battling. Right, welcome to the Rainbow Sanctuary, home of the wretched and the depraved. Hmm. Ro Bowman is probably the most popular of us. She made quite a number of magazine covers with her controversial best selling book. She was the best that science had to offer and they paid her back with public humiliation. In a purely politically motivated move, the scientific association found her theories unsound and branded her a heretic. Interesting term, term to use this day and age, isn't it? Bowman was said to have committed heresy against science itself. Her findings were a slap in the face of the establishment. But if her theories were so extreme, why was she allowed to remain a member of the scientific association? Why not get rid of her entirely if she presented such an affront to knowledge? Very true. I'll tell you why. It's because those in power are smart enough to know that heretics are often the revolutionary thinkers who change the galaxy. Robauman and the rest of us heretics are kept around in case our theories turn out to be true. We use the scientific association for funding and they use us for our potential knowledge. Ain't politics wonderful? So, enter at your own risk, Doctor. You might catch heretical thoughts. I won't catch much. I am a detective. Grumpos might. He's a scientist. So, let's check this place out. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Off to the basement first, of course. There's nothing here. But it's always worth checking. Uh, wait. 